Right now, time is running out for state lawmakers to push through measures before the legislative session ends tonight. Here we go. The end is in sight, and they have been debating items that could impact you, like mental health care funding and an income tax, as well as medical marijuana. Joe Hankey is at the Capitol tracking which bills have already advanced. Joe, you have a tough job tonight staying on top of all that is transpiring. Well, Jeff, right now lawmakers are hammering out the final details on bills that either need to be passed or they will die at midnight tonight. Now, so far today, lawmakers have really only passed a small number of bills, but as is tradition with signee die, the last day of the legislative session here tonight should turn into a vote-a-thon as senators and House representatives take up vote after vote. Welcome to Sunny Die 2022. That was awfully weak. Some of you wanted to stay longer. With House Speaker David Ralston's welcome, the day officially began, and lawmakers started working through a laundry list of bills up for final consideration. I am proud to present Senate Bill 505. One of the first bills to pass and is now on the way to Governor Brian Kemp's desk for his signature will mandate training so 911 dispatchers can give CPR instructions over the phone, along with annual continuing education. I saw an article. Uh, on 11 Alive that said that hairstylists in the, in the state of Georgia are, 30, are required to get 37 times more uh, continuing education than our 911 operators. Representative Houston Gaines even cited 11 Alive's continuing coverage of the issue before the bill's passage. So as to prohibit state and local governments from mandating vaccine passports. Over in the Senate, a COVID-19 focus bill received final passage and will prevent state and local agencies and governments from mandating COVID vaccinations. It passed despite strong opposition from Democrats. But both Republicans and Democrats came together this afternoon for the signing of a mental health funding bill that received unanimous support in both the Senate and House. Today we reaffirm to those families and individuals that they matter, that they are cared for, and that their fellow Georgians will not turn a blind eye to their struggles any longer. Governor Brian Kemp signed the bill that, amongst several mandates, will force health insurers to cover treatment for mental health and substance abuse treatment the same as physical health care. The new law will take effect July 1st. And as you mentioned, lawmakers have a long night ahead of them. The Senate earlier today did pass the state's 2023 budget. The House still needs to vote on that matter. There's also two bills that are still alive dealing with medical marijuana. There's also a proposed election law. We'll have a look at those issues coming up at 6.